I will hit you with a splishy splash. What? This is the strongest Flareon of all time. How is such a thing even possible? Marilex, thank you for the cheer, by the way. Would you delete all your Pokemon for $500,000? Absolutely! I'd delete all my Pokemon for free in three weeks when I'm done playing Let's Go Pikachu. The only reason I wouldn't delete them is because there's really, like, I mean, there's no benefit, you know what I mean? Oh, my Pokemon and Pokemon Go? Oh, absolutely not. Those are, uh, those are my children. Especially my tall and tanned son. How did this guy get three Eevees? No, I would absolutely not kill my pets for $500,000. Even if it sounds irrational, it's not that you're killing the pets, which is also obviously terrible. Is that, like, I would be racked with grief for, like, you know, the rest of my life. It's the double whammy of, like, doing something unconscionable, and then on top of that, like, ruining my own mental state. Also, what I could buy a, I could buy a Lamborghini Murcielago. All right. When was the last time you dabbed? I dab quite literally every day. I dab at least once a day. You can ask Kate. I dab all the time. And the more people uh, say it makes them angry, the idea of me dabbing, the more I do it. Because you literally... Nothing makes me feel cooler than like a 20-year-old kid being like, that's not cool. I'm like, dude, you don't even know what cool is. You don't have any equity. Don't talk to me. You think you know what cool is? Doubtful. I found a great ball. I saw a Fudora bike courier run straight through a red light while dabbing once. It's a very complicated expression uh, for me to deal with. Because... Uh, on the one hand, he's dabbing. On the other hand, he's violating traffic laws. On the other hand, he's uh, just a, a, a gear in the cruel machine of the gig economy. You know, it's, there's, a lot to, there's a lot to unpack there. I, I can't believe this was just yesterday, but... Uh, so Kate and I were in, we were having lunch at basically like a deli sort of establishment. Some dude came in, looking of sound mind, I want to add. He was a relatively normal looking individual, conventional. Um, and he walked in and he was like, hey man, I gotta order really quick. The city's got it out for me. I parked, thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. I parked, but I owe the city like $350 in uh, Parking tickets, man, I tell you, I've been to every city in Canada. There's no other city like Vancouver that's always trying to, uh, you know, you know, nickel and dime you with these parking laws. And, and, like, this was literally instant when he joined the, the establishment. To which the server went, yeah, okay. And then he went, okay, I want, like, um, and th this is the other part is that, you know, he ordered like a very Vancouver-y lunch. He's like, I want a half chicken salad, half kale salad. And they're like, okay, cool. And he's like, all right, I'll be right back. He left. When he came back, he was holding a big piece of metal. And at first I thought it was the no parking sign. He came in and he was jingling and jangling it. And uh, he was like, well, that's one way to get around it, right? And the poor... You know, counter staff was just like, dude, I didn't sign up for this, okay? But then I looked uh, more closely, and he was actually just holding a license plate. I tweeted that it was seven. 
It's because I was trying not to actually make eye contact with this guy, so I was just catching it out of my peripheral vision. So I believe that he parked in a no parking spot, and then, uh, you know, unscrewed his license plate so that he couldn't be given a parking ticket. Although he could definitely still be towed. It, it's just like, I, I honestly can't fathom that, you know, it might take you five minutes to find an extra, you know, a parking spot that's, you know, legal and better. But like on top of that, to just go out instead and unscrew your license plate, which honestly, I think it might be a felony. <laughs> as far as I know, that that could actually be felonious to remove your license plate. Which is not, I'm not like, oh, I, guys, I almost died yesterday. I'm more just like, that's a really dumbass way to like get a criminal record. It is like, it's video game logic. You're precisely correct. All that for a salad, too, was really funny. That dude already has a criminal record? You're probably right. He also said he, he's like, I'm a local business owner. And I was like, pot dispensary. <laughs> I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to rock the boat, but I'm like, I bet you own a weed dispensary that's called something like, you know, the Green Giant's Garden. Okay, let me out of here. Ah, shit. And then... I Apparently I need to go back to Fuchsia City. In order to get strong push. <laughs> Please let me out of here. Apologies, but I'm not caught up on Team Unity Tuesday business. What will you be playing this Tuesday? As of yet, it is not known. Uh, but... It seems like the vibe right now is definitely leaning towards Mario Maker. Even though there is no um, conventional multiplayer yet, well, like with friends in Mario Maker, it is at least with a little bit of extra elbow grease, we could curate the same levels together. Yo, that's a freaking dugong, dude. Um, we could curate the same levels together and, you know, play them at roughly the same time. You know what I mean? I do feel like Austin is gonna freaking smoke us, though. Because I, I... Well, it's very typical for Austin. Because, you know, eh, you know, I'm like 20% excited for this. And then, like, the first weekend that it's out, he's like, I played 32 hours of it. It's really good. And then by the time Tuesday rolls around, he's like, I hate this game. But let's hope that doesn't happen. Austin, are you here to defend yourself? I don't want to go harder until uh, until I figure out if it's uh, if I'm punching up or down. <laughs> he might not be here. In which case, oh, he just got here! I swear, I haven't been uh, making jokes at your expense the whole stream, just for the past like 15 seconds. Hey, Dugong, could you just hang out in the center here for a second? Didn't I feed you an Anab Berry? Like... Yo, it's the greatest throw of all time. You caught a Dugong. Is fucking Mario? How do you hate it? You know what? That's the right answer, buddy. What's your favorite Mario Maker biome? I'll tell you 100%, I'm a Super Mario World. It's like Mario World, 8-bit Marios of any variety. Um, once you get into like the, the Wii and Wii U Marios, I'm like, dude, I don't know what the hell half of this shit is. I don't know, you, you get like this 
Uh, you get a propeller hat that allows you to the helicopter straight up into the air. You get a, a cat that lets you do a dive bomb. I don't understand it. I got I got a lot to learn there. Danger, fast car. Please let me out of here. I'll use an escape rope. Beep, beep, beep. Well, if you want to make levels that play to Team Unity's weaknesses, I'll tell you. I told Kate, if you want to make a level that Dan will never beat, just put as many question mark blocks as you conceivably can. Because Dan, he can't resist the loot. I personally guarantee he will methodically walk over to each question mark block. And if he gets a single coin... He will think that the next block has to have something better. Because the last one was garbage. It only had a single coin in it. And they put one coin, like, just slightly too high for him to get. Oh, it'd be perfect. Are there even points? Uh, let me rephrase. Is there even a point? to uh, coins in endless mode. Because I've like, I've made an effort to get coins. I feel like when I get 100 coins, I, I don't get a 1-up. You do still get a 1-up? I felt like there have been some levels. Do you only get the coins the first time you collect them, though? Or you only get to keep the 1-ups if you actually beat the level? Ah, ah, it all makes sense now. So here's the thing. Rather than going to Fuchsia City to get strong, I'm going to go to Pallet Town and head south and get the knock out the Cinnabar Island gym. I will say I am like absolutely merciless on the uh, on the skip counter. If, so the, the number of times I start a level, and it's like, you know, I'm playing on Expert, so one above normal difficulty, but not crazy high. Uh, hold on, I want this Pokeball. Um, and it's just like a jump that looks impossible, and I try to jump it once or twice, and I'm like, I don't know, there's some kind of, there's a trick here, I don't know, you do like a spiral... Uh, jump or something like that or you know I don't know you you have to you get the idea it's not just hold run and jump at the last possible moment I hit the skip button in an instant in one microsecond I also if I beat a bad level I am very unafraid to boo I boo probably like 4 to 1 ratio oh, oh due to water stone that's good loot I'm not even, I don't consider myself like a hard critic, but I'm telling you, it's it's actually merciful if it makes you feel any better about it. Because like, by booing the levels, everybody else gets a better chance to play better levels. I firmly believe right now the only curation you need is to boo the truly garbage stuff so the cream rises to the top. I'd like the door to the Poke Center is locked. Oh, it's a gym. We found somewhere in a building overgrown with greenery. Okay. That's why I had to thumbs down all your Slay the Spire videos. Well, in the end, the only reason I was uh, upset to beat Slay the Spire is because it made the truly toxic people believe that their toxic comments had actually motivated me. The fucked up thing is, like, they kind of did. I hate the human brain, but it's true. People are like, he's a dumb idiot. I was like, yeah, I'm a dumb idiot. I'll show you how dumb I am by making your content even better. Fucking moron. That's me talking to myself. There must be a key somewhere. Do you have lots of friends? People say Pokemon you get by trading with a friend grow faster. It's it's true. You get a lucky friend. Yes, yes. I 
Are you interested in dark type Pokemon? If you have a Grimer, maybe I could trade my dark type Grimer for it. I don't think I have a Grimer. I don't have a Grimer. Sorry, man. Slay the Spire is over. And it's not like a... It's not like a, you know, hard feelings thing. It's just like the right time for it to be done. I beat A20. It's a dream come true. Not everything can go on forever. My, my, my. <laughs> the Cinnabar Islands, Jim's Blaine is an odd one. He lived on this island since way before the Pokemon Lab was built. Okay. Why don't you brag about it? Yo, isn't this where we get, uh... We took Dome. Isn't this where we get Kabuto? We study Pokemon here. People even bring us rare Pokemon to examine. Okay. Ruka looks cool and refreshed. All right, well, didn't ask for your life story. Did you come to have a look at our lab? I came to give you this fossil. Wow, he's a real scientist. I'm going all the way, dude. This is the room. Hiya! I'm an important doctor. Here I study rare Pokemon fossils. Do you have a fossil for me? Dome fossil. It's a fossil of Kabuto, a Pokemon that is already extinct. Shall I use my resurrection machine to make the Pokemon live again? Uh, yes. You've had a resurrection machine this whole time? Mmm. The fossil was a Kabuto, as I thought. Here you go, you can just have it back. Just don't forget, sometimes dead is better. What level are you, Kabuto? It is unknown. Yo, Kabutops is pretty sick, though. I use him in Pokemon Go, mostly because he's just, like, horrifying. He looks like the... I forget the name of the creature, but from Natural Selection 2, the weird, uh... bladed... Alien? The alien with knives for arms? Alright, I agree. I think we should get Alakazam out of here. Put Kabutops up there. So we brought him, we brought his species back from extinction and we're like, I get in the box, gotta catch him, my heart's so true. Our courage will pull us through. And that's why we need a national Pokedex. Hey, NL, you still on the probiotics? Hell yeah, brother. I'm still sh uh, still shitting good. Still shitting great, really. Pokemon match. I need it. I need this Magmar. Beautiful throw. I'm still upset. Did I tell you my Pokemon uh, Go story? Where I was so excited every time I caught Slugma. Because I was like, dude, this is going to make a sick Magmar. And then when I evolved Slugma, he became some totally different dumbass Pokemon. He is not the, like, predecessor. <laughs> To Magmar. I was like, how does Slugma not evolve in a Magmar? He's like a fire slug. I thought he became a fire... I don't know. This guy kind of wears me out. I don't like a Pokemon that wears a choker, but... I don't know what they're trying to get at there. Run away. You think I'm trying to catch a Rattata right now? Don't be a fool. What kind of probiotic do you take? I take the probiotic my grocery store sells. It's called Bio-K. 
I... Look, I'm not a scientist. Yo, that's a grimer, dude. I'm not a scientist. I have no idea the objective efficacy of bio -K, But, um... Here's the thing. It has to be kept in the fridge. So how could it be bad? Excuse me, sir. Just eat yogurt? I mean, you probably could, but I don't like the I don't like the macros on yogurt right now, so I have bio K instead. Grape throw. Opinion on the cowboy emoji? I'm very pro cowboy emoji. I like I'm the sheriff of emoji. I should try skier. Even when I was in Iceland, I didn't need skier. Um, but I've heard that it's like the preferred yogurt type from a from a macronutrient standpoint. Just jump it. I'm not gonna make my own kefir. That's uh, that's absurd. I live in a 500 square foot apartment. And I'm not gonna make my own anything. I do, sometimes I'll have kefir. I have kombucha from time to time. Making my own though is, is unlikely. What are you? You pushed a secret switch. You heard the sound of something moving somewhere. It's so easy to make your own kefir. It takes almost no effort or time. Yeah, the thing is, it's like really easy to like not make your own kefir as well. It's like I'm doing it right now. You found a max elixir. I don't want to catch a wild rattata, okay? I beg you. Dude, this music is like new mind flood levels. I'm lucky this guy can only see in cardinal directions. I can't get out! This whole place is one big puzzle! Well, sure, we can fight. What is... That's a classic, like, Simpsons beard. Just a ring of stubble right around your mouth. If you are growing facial hair, never grow it like this. It's a really bad look. You can make the mustache work. You can make the beard work. You can even make a soul patch work. You can't make the glazed ring work. I promise you that. That's not really a Walter White look. Why am I struggling? I was like, what Pokemon has a water attack? You know what Pokemon has a water attack, brother? Kabuto. Brought back from extinction. Just to fight. Sitting on a park bench. Oh, oh, Aqua Jet. 
is super effective. Imagine having only existed for a few hours and then you're forced to fight a flaming horse. What's to imagine, brother? It's happening right now. How cool would that be? If you like, you gave birth to a minion, haha. -ha. Oh no, my bag of loot. <laughs> it is damn. Oh no. Me bag of loot. That was Super Milkman, you could tell by his glasses. When is your next esports tournament appearance? Dude, so I get um I get invited to very few like in-person things and that's I don't think it's a slight on myself. I think it's just cuz it's really expensive to like fly streamers to places when it could be a complete disaster. But like to be honest, I've been invited to like some sponsored tournaments over the past year and I've just declined because the games are not casual. And as a result, I'm just signing up to get my ass beat 